The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate your growling problem with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 385, Nasdaq's off 100, S&P's off 36, Gold contract up $15.40, trading 1484 an ounce. You had silver up 26 cents, $17.23 an ounce. Light sweet crude down 40 cents, $55.57 a barrel. Notes and bonds. You talk about a bid and talk about volume, man. 10 year up 26 ticks at 129.23. The 30 year up two full points, 159.14. And King Dollar. King Dollar down 116 ticks, trading 97.739. Euro at 110. The yen is at 108.65, and the pound is at 129 to 1 U.S. dollar. And um, two days, uh, wow. S&Ps, you're talking big numbers here, man. Boy, you know, uh, last December is, is looming large as <laughs> we're, we're, we're now 30 minutes into the second trading day of December. Yeah. And I was just mentioning you from the futures, from the high we had early yesterday morning in the S&P, 31.58 about. We made it down to 3,069. That's 90, 90 S and P points, and it's 10 a.m. on the second trading day of December. Uh, and, you, and you know what's so cool, folks? I said, as I said to you yesterday, right? You know, yesterday I was talking to Tommy about the the trade uh, last week on the gold market, which yes. is which is 1.75 million for a 4,000 dollar strike price in 18 months. And guess what? By the end of the day, I was talking about I can't wait to get our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks, on because yesterday you had someone come in with a hedge bet. Yes, in the and S &P, the S and P. Right? And guess what? They are. They are. Timing is everything, <laughs> Timing man. Timing is everything, man. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks at TD Ameritrade. Think of swim as we do every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And folks, you want to understand option, option strategies, outstanding program. And, you know, you can tell just from last week to this week, whoever put that trade on, it was a hedge, evidently. Sure, I mean, yeah. You know, but bottom Something line. Something like $4 billion you, you, plus you, you really want to there. You want to understand the option market, oh, man. Oh, definitely. You know, it, In it's this so market? Cool. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. You know, these are, I want, you know, I'm not going to tell you why I was up. But I was up this morning at about 4 o'clock a.m. Chicago time when. I love it. Trump made these statements on the air. Yep. And what I said when I came on TD Ameritrade Network this morning was I didn't hear what the mainstream media is saying he said. Yeah. I didn't hear it. Yeah. I heard him going through a bunch of scenarios. He picked out about four. Yeah. And one of them was waiting till after the election. Yeah. So I believe me, I believe this market was overextended on the upside and looking for any reason to sell off. But sure. if you're selling this market off because of – what you perceive Trump's comments were to be about China trade, I think you're making an error. Yeah. But where we've run so quickly, a now, you know, two and a half, three percent sell-off is perfectly natural, and and not something that people should panic about for sure. No, it's a tradable event. There's no doubt. We can hear it in your voice last week. I yeah. mean, you know, that, that that's that's the reality. You know what's so cool? And what you're hearing, Ralph Kevin, and this is really important, folks. When you're in this business for a while, there's certain times. Uh, that I'm not saying you don't want to get any sleep, but it's really close to that, Kevin, right? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That, no, it is, right? That, because you realize that, hey, this is it, man, okay? And, you know, you only have shot spans of time where you can get some good volatility. And whether you're a bull or a bear, when you get good volatility, there's a lot of different trades that you can set up, you know? Yeah, and, and if, you, if you're trading, you know, day one was a good hard sell-off. We're, we're in the middle of day two here. End of day two, sometime during day three, you, you know, if you're bullish, you start to nibble on this market for sure. Yes. Because this is a good, healthy correction here that is perfectly part of a healthy economy. Yeah, well, you know, and what's going to be so intriguing here, man, I, I just said to Tommy, you know, when we were walking in here, I says, you know what, picture, you know, if you're running money, meaning if you have responsibility for someone's money, folks, 
the market is up so dramatically. It's like there's going to be a lot of movement out here today because I think when you take the the side of, you know, am I going to take the 15, 20 percent that some of these money managers may be up or I'm going to risk it? I, it's I, an interesting know, mental dynamic that is. you go through. Yeah, It is, you know. Um, it, it's a big number. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, and you run the case of showing strong hands versus weak hands, right? Yes. The bottom line is do you believe – and this economy going forward with, you know, a 10-year that is sitting here, uh, where is it now this morning, probably probably below 1.8. Yeah, I think it's at like 1.74. Yeah, that was a quick acceleration, it, it too. Was. Right. <laughs> yeah. You know, and that that is something that you got to look at and say, do you believe in buying stocks and a healthy U.S. economy with a 10-year of 1.74? That's what everyone has to make a decision on. Definitely. Yeah. And, you know, the bottom line is that there's already a lot of cash out here. And it doesn't look to me that, you know, these notes and bonds, they just continue to want higher price. So whatever this whole low interest rate structure is, it's not over. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not over by any means. Now, what's going to get interesting here, Kevin, in the commodities market is this dollar. Dollar yesterday, it's the first time that... We had some price spread, you know. We'll see what, you know, it's not a lot of price spread today. It's only buck forty-three on the way down. But that could get interesting in the commodity market in general. Of course. I mean, th you know, there's micro and macro when it comes to lo looking at commodities in the U.S. dollar. And obviously the, the U.S. dollar is a big macro uh, effect yes. on commodities all over the board. So depending on when i think we're at a micro trade r right now but the dollar you know there's so many things out there looming on the horizon that can affect the us dollar you know and and uh, the, you know trump talking right now to nato he's on the air right now or just before i came on with macron from yes. france you know all of that can move currencies you know this is a week with everything going on with nato and non farm payrolls on thursday this could be a week where Bonds, commodities, dollar, interest rates, they all move bigger than stocks do. Yes. You know, because bonds will always move on payroll day. Stocks, sometimes, but not every single time. I joke but to this a, is still a great week to trade the market. I joke sure. to a friend who's a bond trader this morning. I said, the tenure just moved a tenth of a percent in like a few hours. Is that a lot? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there was a time, Tommy, when you used to go to the bond market to escape volatility. Now it's as volatile as anything, if not more. And, and, and folks, what Kevin's saying, you're talking about the bond market, uh, the 30-year, we used to trade off it in the 90s, and if the 30-year moved like four or five ticks, man, that was like a monster, man. Oh. You'd wait for it to move a tick, right, Kevin? It was like... Yeah, we're up two points. <laughs> Seriously, man. And especially in a, in a percentage of a percentage, if you're moving big numbers on a 16% number, we're moving big numbers on a 1.84% down yes. to 1.74 in, you know, three snaps of your fingers right. in no time. Yeah, right. And then, of course, Kevin, you know, this is one of the biggest movements we had since, I guess, uh, last July. And the volatility of I mean, those it, options players. You know, 11 4, 4 to 17 and a half in uh, a few days, right? Yeah, it doesn't take much yeah. of a 1% move to get that thing right back to 16, you know, 16 on the VIX and now above it. So, so like a, a magnet, right? For the you first start snipping around that one percent for two days in a row, one, you know, yep. down, and this thing's gonna screech towards towards sixteen, and then slide a little higher. I like so, it. So, not really surprising. Folks, right here, forty-five minutes from now, you want to understand option, option strategies, futures. Great time to trade, folks. Check it out, Kevin. You have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the program in forty-five minutes. Thanks for having me on, guys. Thank Thanks, you. Kevin. Stay right there, folks. Tommy, if you're not right currently back. using the Taz profile scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is down 384. You get the NASDAQ off 90. The S&Ps are off 34. Let's go into the Dow and see, uh, well, I'm sure that they're mostly all taking the hits out here today. But... Caterpillar, I saw, was a big one. Okay. We'll keep going around. but Yeah, they're all red, every one of them. They don't see that too often. So, uh... Nope, we're in something. Are we? What's going on here? Interesting. It did it backwards, huh? It did. Yeah, no, let's see. IMDU. <laughs> Because it has, it's funny. Red's usually on the left. Yeah. yeah. I think you hit the percentage number versus the, no? Yeah, no. Like Either said, way. So Apple's putting 39 negative points, Goldman 38, Boeing 30, Home Depot 24. Nothing really heavy, right? I mean, Maybe this is all screwed up because I don't know when the last time we saw all 30 Dow stocks in the red. Yeah. Um, no, I, I, you I, know? I'm with you. All right. Um, but yeah, Caterpillar down big money. Um, now, the reason why Caterpillar, and again, this is where... You know, percentage-wise, huge move on Caterpillar on only $139 stock. Yeah. But price-wise, only down, jumping around, 346 um, Right. You know, if that was a $300 stock, that would be down six, seven, eight dollars You'd be putting more into it. But everything, everything. And so, here, yeah, you got Ross coming out saying U.S. Uh, uh, I don't know. Where is it? Ross says U.S. can live without the port of Hong Kong. Well, of course they can. They can. That's the, that's the warships versus they, the warships yes. haven't been there for a while anyway. Um, Tafts, guess what, folks? Okay, we're gonna have Tafts everywhere. <laughs> that's my take on this thing. Uh, if they put, if they come up with these, so December fifteenth is the next time that they raise the Tafts. Okay. Um, that's in China. Yes. You know, but by by the time that Trump comes back from Europe, I suspect that uh, France is gonna be taking conniptions because their wine and cheese and. Uh, the rest of that. Now, oh, yeah. they, that won't come on until sometime in 2020 because that's to be a public, uh, you know, I don't know how would you call it, but this has to be a, public, or, it has to be a public response first before okay. it goes into effect. But okay. Bottom line is that you can expect more taxes. That's what they are. That's yeah. right. 
Uh, I was just jumping around to some of the stocks. So there's Caterpillar down about 2.8%. I saw Apple getting hit as well this morning, 2.8% almost on the number, right? The chip stocks, of course. Intel, 2.7%. Look at that. AMD, 2.7%, right on yeah. the dot. And look at the pop that um, they got as well off the low, but still down about 2.7% on that, that trade worry. Let's see where some of the oil stocks is. Oil traded lower. Yeah, Exxon down about 1.23%. TVX, right? Chevron, yeah. Only eight tenths. Big numbers, man. Oh, definitely. And if we go pull up, oh, here, AKS. So check this out, folks. This is getting taken over, but what do you see? The, the premium is nothing. Um, so AKS is getting bought as that nine cents, right? Okay. This is getting bought by, let's see, who is it getting bought by? Cleveland Cliffs. Uh, for 1.1 billion in stock. This is a, this is a, what, ha what happens here is that the, the debt structures inside some of these steel companies are so dramatic that it's almost like you'd like to get bought out, you know what I mean? So sure, you, sure. So you don't have the debt anymore. And it looks like they have some work to do in terms of whether that's going to be uh, a done deal because that is a 16% premium, but the market only pops four cents, and you're not even trading at $3, and the bio price is three thirty six. Yeah. So the market's saying... There's some work to do for that there deal is. to get done. And so let's let me this CLF because watch this. We put CLF. This this stock's not in good shape either. Put this baby up here. <laughs> so, yeah. Yep. The the shareholders of Cleveland Cliffs not excited to yeah. be buying can, AK Steel. Two thousand eight hundred twenty one dollars. Yeah. Two thousand and eleven hundred and one dollars. Two thousand and eighteen twelve dollars and eighty cents. Seven twenty five. Yeah. He would go back to AKS and put it on yeah. a little bit of a longer-term chart. I just yeah. wanted to see how that's uh, graded. Yeah, so even since October, it's from 2 bucks up to 3 bucks. Oh, yeah, this is a tradable stock. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, those are... $73 in 2008. Yeah. The world changed a lot from 2008 oh, to 2009. $11 in uh, 2016. That's a fair comparison yeah. from, you know, um, when we go in there. Because, yeah, I guess, you know... Let's see. I just wanted to see. 336 was the price. I was trying to see when the last time it even traded at that. And you have to go back to the end of 2018. Yeah. Yeah. And if we go into the gold contract, GC, I think we're in G, yeah. Um, you'll see it. It's, it's caught the bid. They got... Uh, quite a day for gold. Quite a day for everything right yeah, now. Yeah, you're up 1580. They got 279,000 contracts. Now, the... You know, that gets you inside one zone, the range, rather, the higher range. The, the big, the, the high range is 14.99. Okay. You know, we, we popped inside here, though, which is nice, which is like 14.77, basically. Okay. Um, good volume, no doubt about that. Before we jump away, do you mind if I just see where we are? Because this is, uh, it's going to pop it up. Yeah, it's just thinking. I just wanted to see where, if we draw, like, these types of lines. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we, because we're close, man. It's quite a little downtrend, yeah. right? Yeah. So it's still got some ways to we go. We need another day like today to break that Interesting down. Interesting enough, man, that goes right to about 1499, 1500. That'd be the up, like the, yes. the the channel line. Big time. Um, because it's a it's a it's a pretty you know symmetrical. You take a linear regression line, which is kind of like the highs and the lows. You match them up, parallel lines. That's a pretty pretty. It's clear nice channel, it's nice you know, yeah. it really it is. is. So really that'll be is. interesting if it makes it up to the top end of that channel. And about it, it hasn't been a big pullback from, let me see if I can, this will change it, but. That's all right, we saw still, the channel. Yeah, Go it's still it. not bad. That is a very small pullback from the aspect of. Uh, they are, yeah. Yeah, from the move higher. Yeah, it, just over 0. 0.382, yeah. which is very bullish, Yes, you know, so. Yeah. Uh, silver could be very bullish, right? Silver's on the move. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime a stock's down 40% or anything, you call it very bullish. I'm just like, could be very bullish. That could be, you know. Yeah, well, it, on Fibonacci, a 0 0.382 is a small retracement. A 5.0 is a normal retracement. A 6.18 is bearish. That's kind of how... Something down 40% to call it bullish, though. That's where I... I, I, I I'm with you. Yeah. I, I get it. The... Yeah. Um, Look at Apple. Okay, so I guess, you know, this is, well, actually, let's go into the NDX. This is, it, it always, and I mentioned this a couple weeks ago, how it blows my mind, the, the, the NDX, just how fast it can go down. Oh, boy. I mean, <laughs> look at this. Yeah. 
You know, so I think it's 250 points. We're up about 84.50, right? Yep, 84.45. I was looking at it this morning. 250 yeah. points. About 3%, though. Right in line with the S&P this yeah. time. It right. really is, because you had the S&P at 31.58. We made it down to 3,069. Yeah. But 250 NDX, NDX points gone. And let's see. So you got United's down 2.8%. Wins off 27 Macau's got some problems. Cadence Design down 2 yeah, let's go look at when. Okay, so when. I mean, I guess you, you got to factor in, right? If there's huge problems with China, oh, yeah. Macau. Yeah. I mean, we've pulled up some of those charts in terms of the Macau revenue versus the Vegas it's revenue. Huge. Peanuts in it's Vegas huge. compared to what these companies pull in, in that Macau game. I know. Amazing. Those big whales over there. <laughs> yeah. Time. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow's down 412. Nasdaq off 97. S&P's off 36. Gold's up 1670. 30 year up two points plus nine ticks. It's not stopping. Come, come right back. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates to my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we have the Dow Industrials down 414, NASDAQ off 100, S&P's off 37. You get Apple off 620. Now, you know what's going to get interesting here is that, so we have Christmas coming up, and of course, that's when, that's Apple's biggest quarter for sure, right? Basically, everyone's, right? Yes, yeah. everyone's. And so what is going to happen here, folks, is that 
uh, if in fact these tariffs go into effect, it's actually going to, this part of it is going to hit the consumers more than anything, okay? Um, and what I'm wondering is that, will consumers really pick up on that and say, okay, I better buy the Apple now versus, you know what I mean? Three, point. Yeah. three months from now. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Because that's, you know, December 15th, bottom line, it hits the tariff. But what that means, folks, is that that means stuff coming in after December 15th and everything that we're going to be buying at, at Christmas is already going to be in, you know. Yeah. But that's going to get intriguing, you oh, know, for sure. uh, as to uh, how much uh, are people actually educated uh, as to, you know, it's going to hit the consumer right in that pocketbook like fast and furious. And I will. This is taking me some time, but I yeah. have found that chart. We'll get it up in the next break, man, that Macau versus Vegas revenue, because it's mind-blowing when we check out that chart. No doubt. And so let's go over to the dollar. So yesterday what you had, folks, is that you did have price movement on the dollar. Today's not that, not that big. Um, it's down 100 ticks. Not in light of what else is going on, right? Yeah. No, no. Could, uh... Exactly. So we're at 97,750. I think it's 97,701 I'm looking at. Yeah, 107. Uh, 97,107 is the bottom of this consolidation. So I suspect we'll make our way down there. The real question is going to be how. You know what I mean? If you just come down slowly, sure. it's no big deal. If you yeah. come down with force, it's a different ball game. Um, the euro, that's what moved the dollar down so dramatically yesterday. The, yeah. the euro had some nice movement. There. Look at that movement in the and euro. It's hanging up there as well. Yeah. Interesting. We're coming right into December 15th. We're not going to have to wait long. No, we're not. Because that's a critical date. We'll find out real quick whether, uh, you know, like... Oh, look at this. The pound's moving. Okay. Yeah. I believe you might have Trump and Boris meeting today. Yes. To, Boris was trying to play that down and uh, Trump trying to put it out there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's going to be... A, there's, there's definitely a few wild cards over there. There's, there's no doubt about it. Uh, and then the end, yeah, yeah. Because the end is helping the gold market tremendously. Okay? Definitely, we, yep. we just went from that 109.73 to 108.64, and that looks like uh, lower prices are going to continue coming at us. The bond, this is just phenomenal. U.S., let's see, are we on H now? I think we are. I believe you're correct. U.S. H. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So we're in March bonds. This move here, man, you don't, you don't see... Two full points in the 30 too often. No, you don't. That's, look at the size of that move. Yeah, like I said, I joked with my friend this morning saying even on the 10-year, just move 10th of a percent, man. I mean, that's that's what interest rates are based off of. You know, you, yes. you're going to get a 3.9% interest rate yesterday. Well, you might get a 38 today. Right. But that just doesn't usually happen. No, yeah. no, it, it certainly doesn't. The... Uh, and, you know, if you go overseas, we go, uh, you'll, you'll see yesterday that, you know, the DAX, that came down. Well, we came down hard, too, but the DAX had a big move, man. Oh, that's a big one. Isn't it? You that know, sure is, the, man. The DAX went from uh, 13,338 to yeah. 12,954. Yeah, so it's 380 points in index that's at 13,000. That's like 3%. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And look at that. Well, the FTSE, two days in a row. This is... Yeah, this is some serious damage. I and mean, everything's kind of been getting hit. Yeah. So this will get intriguing. And, and all the indices, folks, ETFs, all of them, they all had an expansion of volume. So the, the real kicker is, you know, we get another expansion of volume today, and it's going to say, okay, now you get follow through on the way down. Then, of course, uh, people have a lot of choices to make here. How about some of the retail stocks, if we could? Because, yeah. of course, uh, Cyber Money, how about Target? And now it's going to be a dichotomy of things hitting it. Of course, you had huge numbers for the retail. Look at that. It's not oh, down. Look at that. Remarkable. It's not down. Yep. Now, That's impressive. That is very impressive on a day where stocks are just getting crushed. Yeah. I believe I heard the number for Cyber Monday was $9 plus billion. Okay. Um, down online. Just staggering numbers. And so what we're looking at, folks, uh, you know, Target's up $0.44 cents at $124.42. I yeah. mean, I mean, this stock was just trading back two earnings ago at $85. And if you just back it up to where we were on November 19th, 109. Yeah. We're trading at 124. Let's see what Amazon's doing. Now, Amazon has that high volume low, so I suspect we're going to be going after it. Oh, you're down 25 bucks. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of hanging around in this range from yeah. about 1700 to 1850 um, How about Walmart? Well, Comparing yeah, that to... The monster. Yeah, Walmart, a lot more exposure, I think, than... than Target might have, um, so down a bit, but still not too dramatic Hanging in highs. light of what's going yep. on. Yeah. 
And then BBY, is that Best Buy? That's Best Buy. Let's see how they're doing. They've been a, had a great earnings last, uh, was that last week, I think. That's a pretty dramatic downfall, down more than 2%. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, still up, but look at, I mean, that day, remember, yes. it started up like 6, 7%, finished the day up like 12, 13, 14%, went from 77 to 83. Yeah. And uh, we're right back to 77. But still, the day before that, you traded from 72 to 74. Bell Brands? I got to pull that up, yeah. I think it's LB. There yeah. it is, LB. Okay, so let's see what's happening here. I was in some Bath the, the, and Body the, Works. Yeah. I made mom, it past that right? Victoria's Secret store and saw yeah. the lines, man. Um, okay. But guess what? Yesterday, not kind to them. And uh, today as well. Yeah, so the real question is going to be, is it... Okay, so the low there was 1580. 1582. Okay, this is kind of cool, folks. You, you, you know, the real question is going to be, is this making a low or not? But I want to show you something. See the low swing point here is 1582, right? Okay. And that low, September 6th, okay, at 24 million shares. When I see these bars here, we, have, we get a bar on the 22nd. What's 78 million shares, right? But you see the low is 1580 that was 1582 it just got there but yet you know is it pushing the low with volume or is it stop pushing the high and you don't know yet but that's something to keep your eye on because what does happen is that okay is that someone that's saying okay a big fund manager saying, i'm, I'm going to start accumulating this okay. at this particular price okay and if that's the case what will end up happening is that you'll see an additional sign of strength, whether it's a month, two months, you know, coming into the marketplace. I just wanted to see that, you know, most of that, to put it on a daily, right, because that was a weekly. Yes. That volume took place on that huge bar where, and I think it was earnings. Um, yeah, it probably was. You know. Which, which is cool. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because that would be, you know, you, you bang back into that with light volume. And then what I'd normally like to see, I'd like to see a second sign of strength to say, okay, it, it really does want to go. How about yeah. Kohl's as well? KSS. KSS. I visited Kohl's on Black Friday. It's a glutton for punishment. Yeah. Just didn't in some of the lines. But uh, I, I said to you, right, we came back in here on yesterday. Yeah. And then we were right. just chatting even one of the breaks. And I said it was remarkable that within Kohl's, they had to have an employee that stood with a sign at the end of the line because it was so big. <laughs> and it's remarkable that they've been struggling a lot. Okay. Oh, yeah. that, that in this retail environment, you can be a company that is struggling. And you have so many people in your store that you have to pay an employee to stand with a sign at the end of the line where people are lining up to give you money. That's a tough environment when that's what you have going on and, and investors are saying that you're in big trouble. And they're going to be around. Yeah. They, I, yeah. That's, you know, but it's tough. Guess what? That's very affordable stuff. Where's their margins? Where's their profits? Yeah. That's the other side of that. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. 
Stay informed each day you trade and get the competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up 404, Nasdaq's now 94, S&Ps are off 33. And uh, we have this chart. This is a pretty cool chart, folks, uh, seeing the amount of revenue that is in Macau versus Las Vegas. Man, oh, man, right? So we pulled this chart. We were talking about it uh, in September. Yeah. So this chart, I believe, going even just through July. So this changes. But you can see that peak that it made 2013, 2014. And then you had China kind of... Put and the top one's Macau, right? Yeah, yes. And then the the, the ones, white one yeah. is Macau revenue. Yeah. The blue line is Nevada. And they call it gro Games of Fortune Gross Revenue. Games of Fortune. Right? <laughs> and uh, and this is how much the, the casinos are making. Gross it's, revenue. It's 10 times. Yeah, it's 10 times right now. And it made it almost up to 20 times. And the real thing there is wow. that there's no growth. Yeah. And, at all and that's right. where you see you know that that's why vegas now nobody gets free rooms for anything because vegas has turned into a tourist destination entertainment, and entertainment right. for families for right. shows for parks for restaurants uh it's just remarkable though to see this the size of the difference because even being somebody that's been to vegas many times i would not have believed that macau could be that much of a staggering difference but man, they love to gamble in Macau, and the whales really love to gamble, oh, yeah. and that's where you can make or break your whole quarter when you have a whale coming in there that might drop 50, 100 million. Because look at what this number, now this is in millions, so you're talking about 328 million for yeah. Nevada, you're talking about 3 billion for Macau. One whale in Macau could be a make or break the whole, you know, the whole time for, for Nevada, where you have you know, billionaires over there that might lose $50 million. Yeah. May make 50, they might get a hot shoe, man, and make 100 million bucks. Uh, just remarkable to see that chart. I pulled that down off Bloomberg when I saw it, and we'll keep it, we'll keep it in our arsenal to break that open every yeah. time wind has got some problems. My God. Seriously. Let's go, let's go look at LVS, too, because they get a big presence in Macau also. Yeah. You got Las Vegas Sands. That's at 61.69. That's that's not a bad looking chart. You know, it's going no, sideways. No. You know, so they're still they're still doing all right. Can we look at MGM because that's not quite the same deal? But of course, they got a casino going up in the Northeast now, and yeah. um, doing well. It's, it's but man, around. everything I I read about is that they're making a lot of money, but they're not making nearly as much as they said they were going to make okay. when they applied for the um, license. license and all this stuff, and when they took out the loans. Ooh. that they needed to, to get it done, to build. Oh, you know. that's right, because now what they're doing, they're doing leasebacks and all that. Yeah, okay. right, right. So they're looking to take in 12.9 billion, 13.2 next year. Um, yeah. I wonder how this, so the strip, 5.7. Yeah. Regional, I wonder what, where that plays into things, if that would I'd be something that's going to be, that's gonna like be north. Probably one up in Massachusetts, right? Yeah, yeah. They, they have different, yeah. probably, and maybe they have some in... 
different areas of the country, right? Uh, yeah. 2.9, China 2.4, and then management and other about 661. And then WYNN, we got to look at this one. So yeah. you got WIN, the breakdown. Look at yeah, all, all in Macau. This is pretty oppressive, folks. So they're growing by 27% over a three-year period in Macau, too. Yeah. Look at the difference. So 5.1 billion Macau revenue, 1.7 Las Vegas. Yeah. And they got a few places in Vegas. It's not like they have one place, right? Yeah. 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 Now, what did happen, we saw the peak in that chart was about 2013, 2014. Yeah. You had a slowdown really big to about 2016. Yeah. So then they've had that growth from 2016 to 2019 again. But I bet that, that they had quite a pullback from 2014 to 2016 when China started putting you know, um, prohibitions on yes. outflows and all that type of stuff that um, the big whales over there had to curtail their, their disposable income at their hands. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Seriously. Pretty intense. Yeah. Let's go take a look at the XAU, the HUI. Both of these, you know, we had some good volume in them uh, last week. Um, you know, you, you get them up right now, 142. So this one. That's a quick pullback from the highs, though, is, right? Down more is. than a buck already yeah, today so, from the high. Yeah, let's look at that. Yeah, not yeah. too dramatic, I guess. But, but it's, it's, something's hitting it. Yeah. So it's still up, folks, but it, it's down from the high. Yeah. Of where the gold bugs index is. It's not as bad, yeah. That. Yeah. So the gold bugs index right now, that's up 660, trading 222. And now this is this is where it's going to be really wild because, you know, the, the run, let me pull this back more so you can see this. So the run that we had in May was pretty extraordinary. I would we agree. went from 147 yep. all the way up to 237. You know, now we've been down, you know, since August, right? Yeah. And, but it's surprising to me how stealth this is, meaning that we're, you know, we're right next to the highs now, yeah. you know, which is really like. And to put a little difference, right? We put the, we put the trend line on gold. Yeah. And it hadn't come up to that point. Well, this is good. It broke it. But yeah. you put it here and even no matter where that's, you try and find it, conviction. that's a break, right? That's a beautiful thing. And if you even draw it just from kind of like this trend line where they match up pretty well, those three tops. Yeah. I mean, you slam through it as well. Yeah, you get a break with conviction. Yeah. That means we're going to the highs. That's and, a nice thing. And it wasn't a clear downtrend channel where the, the, the price of gold, the lows correlated as well. Whereas this one, yes, it's kind of just a straight line across type. Um, yeah. So that's, you know. So you get the equities leading the contract, folks, which, which you know, is not a bad thing. That, that's what this comes down to. Sure. And, um, you know, we've been looking at Royal and Frank on Nevada, and both of these need some help, man. You know, same thing today. For, Can I, know, since, since yeah. I'm all over, let's see where, because yeah. they're all, like, really close to this upper trend line of what might be. Whoops, what did we just do? That's really that's close. That's interesting, yeah. That's really close that's, there. That's a break. That's a break that hasn't held yet. Yeah, okay, right so there. Let's, let's look at Frank on Nevada. This is good news. Franco, Nevada. We're at a critical level, that's for sure, yeah. right? Oh, the, the, much different story there. Yeah, this is right next to its highs. Man. I mean, that's almost a vice versa. Yeah, that you're bumping up to a, a high level Look at that. top. Definitely, much different. And this, the, this is the leader. Franco, Nevada is the leader, man. Uh, yeah, so this different. this will get interesting watching how this is going to shake out. Because boy, oh boy, this one is just a straight rocket ship, man. Yep. There you go. That's all you got to see on that one. And look at this is crazy. Every time I look at these, you know. 26 employees. Oh, well, this is an all-time high today for okay. the year. For the year. So 26 employees. $18.8 .8 billion company. <laughs> and $850 million. Can we go back? Some of the casino companies. Go to Wynn. Okay. Because I know, so they were at about, and the Wynn might have been the 12.2? 12.4, yeah, and 26,000. So that's awesome because it was 26. 26,000 employees. So they got a, wow. for every one employee over at, uh, what were we just looking at? Franco Nevada? Franco Nevada. Yeah, you got 1,000 over at Wynn. And uh, Wynn's worth 12,000, 12,000, 12,000 million is what it is. $12 billion. Yeah. And uh, Franco Nevada, $18 billion company. That is wild, huh? 26 people. That's not bad, man. You, you fit them all in like a 1,500 square foot uh, office oh, and, yeah. and just count your billions. Yeah. I like that business plan. No, no, no <laughs> doubt, man. No doubt.
And they don't have any of the cost. Everything is off the top. Yeah, right. Uh, no, that's, right. that's why they can do it with 26 people, right? Unreal. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow down 452. More pressure in the Dow. Oh, boy. NASDAQ down 111. S&Ps are off 38. Come right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is off 440. You get the NASDAQ off 107. S&Ps are off 36. You get more pressure on the way down. And, folks, as you come over to our website at TFNN, uh, Tom has put the, together a, a nice market morning recap as well as an afternoon recap. Yeah, morning market report. We got some market recaps out there as well. So check out the front page of TFNN this morning, of course. The driving story. Trump talking about maybe it might be best to wait until after the 2020 election. I don't remember in 2016 Trump saying that, guess what, trade deals will be done when I get my second term. No, but, it's uh, supposed to be easy. <laughs> easy. 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 Once you trade, elect me for another yeah. four years. Yeah. Uh, so the market reacting to that. But you can click on this link, brings you over to the report. And I just had in here, of course, the market driving the action in terms of what's going on. You have the chart of the S&P early this morning. And that was when we were at 3,093. What are we at right now? 3,076. The pain <laughs> continues, man. I think that was right at about almost 8.45, 9 a.m. as this okay. was getting published. There's your NASDAQ futures, 82.33. What are we sitting at? That NASDAQ 100, we're at 81.94 now. And uh, 
stocks moving. You had Apple up there, just kind of posting the pre-market action, what you can have on your radar. Caterpillar, Intel you had down dramatically, AMD, Walmart. I mean, just huge moves, man. Target even, I mean, we saw it, had quite a rebound. Looked like Target was going to open lower, not so much. Even Microsoft down as well. And uh, the story we haven't touched on, to be interesting, Elon. He's going to court today for his pedo guy rant on Twitter. And he is going to... What gonna, was the pedo guy? What that had it? to do with the Thai oh, soccer team right. when that's he went right. after this yeah. cave diver for oh, no reason right. and then that's doubled right. down continually like Elon likes to do when right. he's being a little bit of a maniac. So he is in court today as a witness. And then you have the 9 a.m. update up there. Sweet. Check it out that I did um, easy access along with the link to Tiger TV. So check that out, and that'll be a regular thing on the front page of TFNA. Nice. There we go. Stay right there, folks. Uh, think of some coming up next. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. Good and look at that 10-year, 1.70. Oh. 1.70 percent on that 10-year. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Wow! Look at him, folks.